Rowan, so if you're a business owner or you have an agency that helps small businesses um, with their Google reviews, um, then obviously you know how important Google reviews are. But 94% of consumers um, use online reviews for making their buying decisions, but 75% of businesses don't respond to any of the reviews at all. But businesses that reply to the reviews just 25% of the time can earn up to 35% more revenue. So what I did in N8N was create, I'm gonna just close this one now. Um, I created a bot that will listen for your reviews to come in on Google. And then we are going to get the uh, reviewer's first name. Then we've got our business details here. Then we're gonna write a response to that review. Wait a random amount of time because it's pretty unlikely that a business owner is available 24 hours a day uh, and replies to you instantly. So we just have a random one time in here and then it's gonna respond to the review. And then down here, we're gonna take our five star reviews and we're going to create a social media post filling in a Canva template. Uh, so the template we're gonna fill in looks like this. Uh, and I'll show you how to uh, fill in all these steps uh, to fill that in and then post it to your social media. But first, and this one's the easiest, so we're going to go through the uh, generating review replies first. So I've got the Google Business Profile trigger. Um, that's a little bit more complicated to set up than you might think. Uh, so if you want, I can make a separate video on that, but you basically you need to get permission from Google to use the the business API. Um, so it only took a couple hours to fill out a form and they responded to me uh, within a couple of hours and, I, and they granted me permission to do it. Uh, so it's not overly complicated, it's just a little bit more set up than using say Zapier or something like that. So here's our first step. And uh, by the way, I'm going to give you this um, the JSON for this this template here. So you're going to be able to come up here, like import from file, and then you'll be able to import this whole workflow. So you don't have to, um, you don't have to take a bunch of screenshots and pause the video a whole bunch of times to copy all this stuff. So what we're going to do here is get the reviewer's first name with this code snippet. So here we got the first name. Then I've got a fictitious business in here. Um, and we're gonna write the reviews trying to use some keywords. So you just change these keywords to whatever you want uh, for your specific business or your client specific business. Um, fill in these details. And then those are gonna get used in the prompt. Then I have a different prompt for four and five star reviews and a different prompt for three, two and one star reviews. Uh, so the, so basically they already just use a switch. So is the review a five, is a four, three, two or one? And then we're going to write a response with this prompt. Um, I don't want to read the whole thing to you because you're going to get this afterwards anyway, but basically you're a review expert for the business that we specified earlier in the, in the set node. Uh, these are the keywords here that we set. Um, and then this is the industry, uh, the niche that we set. Uh, so we want them to use a natural tone. Don't use deer. You're responding to four plus star reviews. Never reference AI. Um, <laughs> detect the sentiment of the review, tailor the tone accordingly, and subtly and naturally integrate the SEO keywords. Then we've got an example here. Um, and then in the user message, we're going to give the reviewer a name, how many stars the review was, and then the, the comment of the review. So when we run that, we get a response like, thanks so much, Quincy. We're glad to hear you enjoyed visiting the hardware store and found everything you needed. Plus a few surprises. Our team loves helping customers find great deals and tools on hardware. So your feedback means a lot. Can't wait to welcome you back next time you need something for your next project. All right, so that sounds pretty good. Then here we have a piece of code to get a random wait time in minutes. So 406 minutes we're going to wait. Go to the wait step. We just drag this over here. 406 minutes. And then it's just gonna post back to the 
the Google business profile. So you go by ID and then you drag this in from the first step. And, uh, and then you reply from the uh, AI nodes. So this little uh, split here with the, the hype characters is, this is the positive review. And then if there's nothing there, it'll go to the uh, negative review uh, instead. And, that, uh, and that's basically it for generating review replies. And then for generating social media posts, we'll walk through this together. So first we're gonna start and get a sample review. We only want five star reviews. You could do four stars as well because the Canva templates I give you also have, um, there's also, this is actually a four star. This one's a five star. And then we have different colors in here. Um, so you can choose which ones you wanna use. I'll walk you through how to do every step of that in a minute here. Uh, but I just wanna show you how one looks. So let's uh, run this whole workflow. It's gonna take about, 30 seconds because I've got some weight steps in here. Um, and then we'll show you what it looks like uh, shortly. Uh, but in the meantime, why don't we go over to Canva and we'll show you how to fill these in. So we're gonna just do five stars. Uh, obviously you would replace this with your logo um, and your phone number or address maybe. Uh, so what we wanna do is put the user's profile image right here. So to do that, we're gonna go to, um, elements and we're going to grab the, the circular frame and then we're just going to kind of resize that so that it fits inside of there okay that looks good then we're going to add some text we'll go to heading here and this is where we'll put the or the um response uh the um this is where we'll put the actual review and then we will put the reviewer's name. Okay, then what we need to do is um, turn this into a brand template. So we wanna actually autofill the data, right? So we're gonna go data autofill down here, custom. And then we're going to name this image. We'll name this one review and we'll just call this one name then you're just going to click publish as a brand template publish and then this is going to be right here the um the design id that we need uh in a few minutes here so i made a brief mistake i forgot to tell you after we filled these out we need to make a copy of this because there's um, there's a whole bunch of pages in here and we only want uh, page two. So let's uh, go file, make a copy, and then just uh, delete all the other pages in here. We only want this one. So now we're gonna publish just this one as a brand template. And then grab this design ID from here, copy that, go back over here. And we're gonna go into our autofill node, put that in, and that way we can show you how this ends up looking. So we're gonna wait about 15 seconds for that, or 30 seconds for that to go through. Now, you might be wondering also, how, how am I gonna get more reviews for, from our customers? So the one way I have here, and I'll share this with you as well, this is a Canva template where you could put a QR code that links right to your Google profile right here. Uh, you can give, uh, you can put that at your front counter and ask your customers to scan the QR code and leave you a, a review. They're more likely to do it if you ask, right? Um, so I'll include that for free as well. I'll also included is going to be all of this information here. So I've got the, that's the templates for the social posts right there. That's the template for the QR code. Um, this will be the JSON of the whole workflow template. So you can just upload it. I also have uh, Google business crash course right here. Uh, everything you need to know about your Google business profile and optimizing it. And then I've got a, a guide right here. Um, it's just like a 15 page document on the uh, ultimate Google reputation management. So um, 
All right, here, now we can finally take a look at this. All right, there we go. So there's the review that they left and then there's their first name. So let's walk through that step by step. So just like the first node, we grab the reviewer's first name. We've also got our business details. Then we're gonna write a caption for this prompt. So here I have uh, your world-class social media copywriter and brand voice specialist for the hardware store or whatever business name you entered earlier. So we're gonna generate a short and engaging social media caption based on the five-star Google review. Um, we've got some different information down here. You can change any of this that, so it fits your business. Um, and then again, we've got the reviewer's name, the stars, and their review. Okay, so after that, what this is, is an HTTP request that gets the profile image. So that's down here, and you'll see the profile photo URL. So all you do is change this method to get, and you bring that URL over like so. And then when you execute that, you get just their image uh, for their profile, which is right there. Next step is going to be to upload that to the Canva. You just need to upload that image into Canva. Now, if you don't know how to connect Canva, I have another video that I will link in the description. It's also in the uh, the document that's gonna be pasted in the, in the description below. Um, so here we're taking the binary file named data, and that's going right here, and that's gonna upload the photo into Canva. Then you gotta wait, give us a time to upload. I usually just use 15 seconds and that generally is enough. Then we need to get the uh, asset ID that we just uploaded. So this is the URL endpoint. It's a get method. And then this job ID comes from the previous step. So here you see job and ID. So you just bring that to the end of the URL. And then we need to create the autofill. So this one is where you put in the brand, or the uh, template that we made earlier in Canva. That's the ID. And then these are the fields. Now these you need to rename to whatever you called them in Canva when you, when you filled in the data fill options. So you see here we have review, name, and image. And then in, in Canva, we had, if we look at the autofill, you've got image, review, and name. So those are gonna be what's filled in. So image, type is image, asset ID is what we got from the previous step. Asset ID right here, drag that over. Uh, the reviewer's name we have from the code node. So we're gonna take first name, put that right here. And then the review text is their comment. Uh, so that's their comment right here. Okay. We need to wait for that to finish again. And then we are going to get that, um, get that autofill. So the job ID, again, from the previous step, just gets dragged to the end of the, um, this URL. Uh, but again, you're going to have this when you when you just upload the workflow. Then we're going to export it. So you're just going to go uh, with this endpoint here. It's a post. And then the JSON that you're going to send is basically just the design ID. And we want to export it as a PNG. If you want a JPEG, you just put JPEG in here. So the design ID is right here. You just drag that over, put it in there. And we wait again for it to export, because as you know, when you export from Canva, it takes a few seconds. Uh, and then we are going to get the URL um, of the download. So you put in the job ID from the previous step right here using a get method and this endpoint. And then we're going to end up with all this is as, a, as another get HTTP request um, to the URL so that we can look at it, which we have here. Um, but after this, you would select the 
um, social media platforms that you want to upload it to, and then we could upload it there automatically. So you could take the Google Business Profile here um, and create a post. Um, but I noticed the one in N8N does not have an option to upload an image. So you might want to export it to another service that you use. Maybe it's Buffer, maybe it's Kohai Level, um, and then you'll be able to upload the image uh, from there. So I have in the description a link to how to link Canva to N8N. And if you want me to create a video on how to set up the Google Business Profile trigger, I can do that if you are interested, just leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, enjoy all these uh, resources that I gave you. I have quite a bit in this uh, Notion document. Uh, you get access to all the templates. You get the, um, you get the, the whole workflow. So you can just upload it and change a little bit of the prompts and your business information. And then here again, I have the how to connect Canva to N8N. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and leave any comments to ask me any clarifying details. All right, thanks.